When a problem comes along, you must whip it. <laughs> this weekend at the Bahan Run Dan Run the Han Superdome, it's Whip Fest. Whip Fest. Hello and welcome to Whip Fest. This is my spiky whip that looks like um, what's her head from uh, the Soul Calibur games. Which, like, I like those games, but they have some pretty <laughs> shitty <laughs> weapon and character designs, I think. This is Gary Butterfield of uh, Fun Fireside Chat. I am doing my first Dark Souls 2 Let's Play, um, and it probably won't be my last. Um, I did three or four Dark Souls 1 playthroughs, and I can see doing the same thing here. This is Whip Fest with Bryson Tyson, and uh, the only um, kind of rule is that whips rule. So, uh, I can use shields, um, I can cheese bosses if I want to, and I think I'm past the point choosing bosses, or boss cheesable bosses. I'm going to try to do the quick kill on Pursuer, because uh, it makes me feel like a super badass when I do it. The, uh, what I, I'm probably not going to do, um, as far as optional bosses go, um, I will fight Dark Lurker, because um, I like that fight, and I will fight Vendrick. I probably won't. Um, fight the ancient dragon. I might, but I think that fight is the worst design fight in the game. And uh, doing super little damage, which I probably will be even with upgraded whips, makes that sound super unfun. So, anyway, so you can see kind of here what we got with my regular whip. Doesn't do very much damage, but watch. Or the next shot. Okay, that didn't do it because it didn't have very much, but. My point being is that I, these actually proc bleed really well. Or this wop, whip does. Wop. This wop does. Yeah, I should not say it in that particular. But. And several of the bosses can bleed too. Which is very handy. Um, Last Giant can bleed. Uh, so I'm mostly going to use. See, so try to save the old uh, whip for stressful situations, such as at the top of this, um, this ladder over here where there are a bunch of really tough guys. I may be able to one-shot those, um, but for everyone else, regular whip. Um, you may be wondering about uh, ranged weapons. That's going to work. Um, I'm going to... That's so funny. See how much damage that last one did? Um, Okay, so this is a, a good situation to bring out power with. Every whip has a sweet spot too, and I think the sweet spot for the whip, strangely enough, is when you're right next to them. Um, you'd think that you'd want to hit them with like the tip of the whip, but not the case. Um, what was I saying? I see I do 69 damage, does a little bit more damage right next to them. But, oh, ranged weapons. Um, I'm not going to use any magic for sure. Um, even though, like, it's possible I'll use, like, a... I won't be using any uh, ranged attack magic. It's possible I'll end up using a utility spell at some point. Um, but I won't be using, um, in any significant fashion, uh, like a bow and arrow. I'll grab these throwing daggers. I like throwing daggers. Um, that didn't that work great. I am going to allow myself a clause, a Shrine of a Mana clause, where if I can get through that just whipping, I will, but if I have to use a short bow to do it, I will as well. And uh, probably end up using the lightning short bow that you get from uh, Iron Keep. Because, uh, that's probably, you know, I don't want to spend tons of resources upgrading a bow given that I'm not going to use one very much. So. Don't worry if, uh, you know, I don't want to get any complaints similar to the people, well-meaning people who complained about my archer run where they're just like, you're not actually using the bow. The worst of the game at that point. I think I might be able to be better at doing that now. At the time, though. That was not very good, so I beg forgiveness about that. And hopefully you don't, uh, don't judge me too harshly about using the um, using the short sword or what have you or the uh, 
If I used the Baldur side sword during that, and I also never had one drop before, so forgive me for finding that pretty exciting. Um, but yeah, hopefully you don't uh, don't judge me too harshly. Hey, buddy. Now, this is not a completionist run. I'm not going to go everywhere. For example, that area up there, I think it just has a short sword. Is all I could really use. So I'm not going to go up there. But I do want that item over there, which is a life gem, I think, and then ten... Uh, Terrible. Ten uh, throwing daggers. Um, I'm also doing standard <coughs> Gary uh, Dark Souls where I am not going to, uh, you know, necessarily um, beat uh, or. What are you going for? Uh, yeah, not necessarily edit out deaths. Um, but when I die, I do tend to go to speedrun strats, as you can see. I also am going to make a rule for myself, and this one is me setting up the rule, so I'm not going to do it for this one. But every time I die, rather than editing out the death, I'm going to tell a joke. So the run-up will have a joke. Is it going to be a good joke? Likely not. But I tell a joke, and that might even get down to like, I might have to get out Dr. Ding Dong's uh, Halloween joke explosion. This is a book I bought for my Kindle. Um, no fooling. And uh, I have half durability already. But uh, I might have to get out Dr. Ding Dong's Hollywood joke explosion. Halloween joke explosion. And uh, do some of those. Okay, cool. Of course, the fact that I ran by everything over here means that uh, these guys are aggroed. So, telling a shitty joke or a good joke every time I die to make the boss run up. More entertaining for you, more entertaining for me. Cut down editing for me because I'm not real into video editing, honestly. Like, it's not, uh, not something I get a lot of joy out of. So, if I'm not having fun, I think it shows. Yeah, these items just in case um, I decide to use them for armor at all. I'm going to try to stay below 25% uh, crit burden. I realize that doesn't really make a difference in uh, Dark Souls 2 with the um, more gradual or granular uh, roll speeds, but mentally like I like to give myself a limit for it. And that is the limit I'm going to give myself. I think this is old whip worthy. Especially since I'm pretty close to the bonfire. Oh man, uh, durability just. Luckily, um, I stagger everybody. I meant to go grab the um, stone ring. See that bleed? I meant to go grab the stone ring, which uh, I might still do. I'll probably do it off camera though, because um, it'll be boring for everyone to watch. And uh, grab that and uh, do a little bit more poise damage to things, because the whip does not do tons of poise damage, which, when I have this little endurance, can be a problem because I can't just keep whipping. I need to be able to stagger people, um, not just uh, interrupt them. So we'll do that um, at some point between episodes. I don't think I'm going to get to the last giant in this one. Um, I will. So I'm going to buy the key. There's a uh, Titanite shard you can get um, in Majula. So I can make my Nops whip plus one. I will be making uh, kind of trips to go um, upgrade that with some frequency, just because uh, it makes a big difference and that's going to be my bread and butter whip for a long time. Um, 
the old whip uh, upgraded. Oh, I can grab this stuff from in here. Upgrades with Twinkling uh, Titanite rather than you know uh, regular Titanite. So look how you can whip through that door. I haven't found a place to use that yet, but if you're close enough, you can whip through certain things. So I, the old whip is not going to get upgraded anytime soon, kind of anyway, no matter how much I want to. I don't want to rely on that too much either. That's kind of my um, my secret boss whip. That hand axe there. The um, first time I played this, I bought a hand axe from uh, from uh, Melthia down there um, right before going up and grabbing this one. The hand axe, you know, Dark Souls One, pretty good weapon. going up there and grab that stuff. Kind of a hard treasure to get and not that worth it. Okay. We're going to go down here and explore this area even though I don't need things from it, I don't think. Um, but we'll do it anyway. Um, for shits and giggles. There's a couple soul items I want. Um, this drop attack never works on this guy. Oh, well, that worked perfectly. But I try to do a leaping attack. Maybe that's what doesn't work. I definitely had that fail many a time. I like that they, um, this item right over here, I always thought you had to jump to it. Like I never saw the way up there before. Um, but the, uh, that they let you do critical attacks and plunging attacks with the whip. I wish they had made them specific though. They just, you just wrap your fist around it and hit somebody with it, like use your fist. And really, a, a fist with a whip wrapped around it is not that much more effective than a regular fist. Um, I thought it'd be cool if like you wrapped it around their neck or something like that. It'd be pretty sweet, pretty metal, but that did not happen. I'm always happy to get torches. Um, it'd be pretty useful. See how my uh, whip is about half durability now, so it is, uh, it's no joke, man. That durability factor is not not nothing. Let's see if I can get these. Uh... So that's the cave that has a helmet in it. I'm not gonna wear that because I have a sweet stash. Um, once I get super hollowed. Like to the point where I think my, the character is kind of too ugly to, to be. I'll probably go human. Um, but I might put on a helmet if I find one. Actually, what I want is the traveling merchant helmet with the cool monocle and the hat. I think that's what I want. Um, so that is what I will eventually get. And uh, we are going to grab... The reason why we grab this, uh, or why I grab this long sword, even though I'm not planning on using it, is that if you... So these guys sometimes... Are pain in the ass to trigger these guys that are going to come ambush you from behind. There we go. Um, because if you, the shortcut by the uh, Cardinal Bonfire, if you, um, if something happens and you kill the guy who throws the fire bombs, it can be very useful to um, have a unlimited source of fire to ignite those barrels and, and the like. So, thus the, uh, and then you can also use it in. Um, Boss Bastille for similar purposes. This is actually more useful to me though, um, because I want to get that first box. Now, let's not risk that too much. Usually I can do both. Like, I don't necessarily, I don't want to say I'm like glad these guys got a debuff. I will say that prior to the debuff, I think these guys are some of the hardest guys in the game. 
And uh, if you don't kill those guys who sneak in, they're coming right when they're getting this and start fucking you up. If you can go in there and, and get back behind that guy early, um, you can get the uh, the Rebel's Great Shield, which is pretty good, actually. Um, I'm probably I'm gonna go get the leather large leather shield. Um, it's not that it's 90% physical; it's not great, but it's better than the shield I have now, even though it looks like it'd be worse. And um, how many souls does this large Proud Knight give me? Yeah, I think I will have enough to get that for those locks. Yeah. Um, I knew. But I just I know the uh, pursuer parry timing with the uh, large other shield, so that's why I end up using it. Thanks. And it is not uh, by any means a bad little shield. So. Um, yeah, where will we still go in this episode? Um, Pretty close to wind. Uh, I don't want these episodes to be too long. We're pretty close to wind. Uh, wrap it, wind it up. I'll go. Um, oh wait, Kale. That'll be the end of this episode. And then the next episode will be last, uh, last giant, and pursuer, probably. Together. Um, I would love to. I don't know if I'm strong enough for it. I would love to do uh, Lost Bastille as the second area I do because you get the um, bracing knuckle ring, which. Uh, which you, you know, reduces your durability damage or what have you. And that would just be ridiculously huge for me right now. But I don't know if I'm strong enough for Ruin Sentinels. Um, because they do not bleed and they are armored. And uh, if I wanted to summon help for it, which that's not you know, explicitly a condition that I can't do that, but if I wanted to summon help for it, the, um, I had to clear out all those clanky clank soldiers ahead of time. Which is annoying because, uh, same reason, like, because the whip is not that powerful. It's viable, but that powerful. And typically what I do here is let these guys come get, get whipped. Come on. As far as level ups, you're going to see me um, focus really heavily on dex initially because damage is my primary uh, concern. And then slowly, see I'm already down to kind of a low durability here. And then start working on um, like vitality and adaptability um, because I'm going to need... Ooh. I'm going to definitely need adaptability. I like being able to roll through shit. I'm trying to play this as a uh, as a softy. I find this little trap here one of the weirdest things in the game. I don't know who's doing that, but somebody dies. So the souls come through. So somebody pushed that on you and died doing it. But there's no, you know, when it was that guy, he was right there. So somebody got pushed. Like Kale pushed it down onto him or something. I don't know. But. And we're not checking out Kale's dialogue. Again, not it's not because I'm not interested in it. It's because I've seen it a bunch of times, and there are really good uh, resources for that. So if you want to see some of these cutscenes I'm not watching or see some of the dialogue, you can grab it all on YouTube. They're all internet literate. So I trust you guys. And I used to think that you had to make that kind of scary jump to get back, but you don't. And uh, yeah, we'll clear out this area over here, and then I'll I'll call it for this episode. Kind of short episodes. I understand people, you know, I don't want to record for 45 minutes and have that be an episode. I think that's kind of uh, annoying. And uh, like I said, I'm going for a greater release schedule, two to three times a week, um, since it's been so long since I've put anything out, and I got some guilt going on for that. I'm gonna be at risk pretty soon. Um, so let's switch up to the old whip these uh, next guys I'm whipping. But, uh, yeah, so the episodes will come out frequently. I'm also interested in ideas for what to do after this. Um, I have a couple of things I wouldn't mind trying. 
This guy's just eating out my fucking durability with that shield. A um, couple things I wouldn't mind trying, but um, I'm definitely open to, uh, to suggestions. I thought there'd be something up in the rafters of this house. Doesn't look like there should be something up here. There's not, as far as I can tell, but... And then the reason why I'm going in here is because if you go down here, you can get some uh, titanite shards. I just pronounced that weird. I said titanite uh, because I was watching um, Vegeta311, um, who is a Dark Souls YouTuber, who's a very, very skilled player, uh, but has always pronounced titanite that way, and it's funny to me. So anyway, so that'll be enough for this uh, episode. I don't think I'm... Yeah. So that'll be good for this, um, for this whip fest. And uh, join us next time where we'll actually be taking on the bosses of this area. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Good night, good luck, good whips. Good fuck. <laughs>